Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add coordinates to your point layer. Stick around. Okay guys, so let's get started. So here you can see I have a parcel polygon with some random points. I'll put a link in the description down below on a video I did about creating random points in QGIS. When you do that, you go to the attribute table, you'll just have an ID, but in most cases, you want to know what the coordinates are for those points. And so I will demonstrate that for you. Alternatively, if you don't create the random points and you just create a point layer, and I will go up to add layer, or I'm sorry, create layer, and I'll just do a temporary layer from scratch to points, temp, points. And of course, we could add a field here, but just to demonstrate, when we add those points and we save that off and we open up the attribute table, you know, there's nothing here. So for both of these examples, we'll go ahead and add those coordinates to it. So when you go to your toolbox, in which I have here already, and let me just close out of that. But what we could do is just type in add coordinate, coordinates to points. It'll come up with the Saga. Under the Saga tool, feature points, there's a tool called add coordinates to points. So if I double click onto that, now we do get this message that's not officially supported, but it still does work in this case. So I'll do my random points first. And you have the option to select only certain points. But in this case, I'm just in they had to be pre-selected uh, before you open up this tool, such as this. So if I just have these I wanted opposed to the rest, and I open this back up, I can see selected features only. But again, in this case, I want everything um, to have the coordinates. So I go back in here and write on points. So we have the X, Y, and Z, which is the elevation. Now this is not gonna work. Um, I've tested out a couple times. It's just not populating that. Um, you know, that would be something we could do in a future video. The M, is the slope, which again, we don't need to worry about that in this case. Um, I have checked the lat long, latitude and longitude. It just all defaults to this X and Y field. Now you can have a temporary file, or you could just simply save this out by clicking save to file to a certain destination. But in this demonstration, I'm just gonna have a temporary file. If I click run, it shouldn't take too long. And right here, I have the output, if I close here. And again, this little cloud looking icon means that's a temporary layer only. So if I go to my attribute table, you see the XY has been populated with the coordinates. Now, same thing happens up here when I created the new point layer from scratch. Um, could do is simply double click here, change this yep, to my scratch layer, and I just want the XY as a default. Run that, and I'll get a new output layer. And when I open that up, if I go to my attribute table, I have my XY values. So this is just a quick and easy way to add those coordinates to your point layer when they don't have that already. And I hope this helps. And as always, please leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.